All right. So I have quiet. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Oh, trouble shared is a trouble halved. So someone may have wanted to share some of their problems with you. You may be being quiet. Maybe someone made something out of a, you know, a mountain out of a molehill, or maybe someone thinks you are. Maybe that's why someone is quiet. Someone may think you're making a bigger deal out of something that needs to be, or you could feel this way about someone else. Um, someone may have wanted you to share in their burdens or their problems. Uh, you could be tired. Maybe you're getting some sort of dream messages when you're asleep. Or someone could be dreaming about you. <clears throat> or someone just needs to wake up. Maybe their third eye isn't activated. Don't put the cart before the horse in the reverse. Oh, so someone may have wanted to dump their burdens on you or make you share the blame in something. Sorry I'm late. I didn't want to come <clears throat> in the reverse. So maybe someone ghosted you or bailed on you or you could have done this to someone else. Um, depending on where you fall in this, but I feel like if you're in the upright here, um, you necessarily wouldn't be making a mountain out of a molehill just because someone doesn't understand where you're coming from in a situation. So someone may just need to wake up and see your side or see the truth. Maybe you just speak the truth, your truth speaker. Don't count your chickens before they've hatched and a stitch in time saves nine nip it in the bud now. Something may need to be nipped in the bud, or something may just need to come to an ending. Um, because someone was counting on something, whether this is you or someone else, it's like someone may have been depending on someone, maybe if you needed some sort of help or assistance, or you just maybe de depended on the fact that you thought you could rely on this person, maybe you thought they were reliable, and you're finding out that this person is not reliable, especially if um, <clears throat> somebody didn't want to come, or they canceled on you, or bailed on you. Being near you makes me feel less stupid. So someone may not be using their intelligence or their brain and it may be irritating to you. <laughs> I didn't give you the finger, you earned it, yeah. So someone, someone's trying to accuse someone here of making a mountain out of a molehill, but they're just not using their brain or seeing things clearly here. Um, it's, it looks like they pissed you off. <laughs> or they were working on it want to know a secret someone could have been holding a secret or withholding a secret maybe why they didn't come or why they ghosted you or why they're not reliable or they may feel like you're keeping a secret they'll catch more flies with honey than vinegar so if you're trying to get someone to see your point of view um you know maybe you approach the situation with some aggression um, or if someone is trying to um, get you to like explain something like your point of view and you could be getting frustrated because it's like maybe you've explained it like 50 times and this person's still not getting it. Um, I don't know. You can try a different approach. <clears throat> but sometimes people just aren't going to see it. They're not going to understand it. You can try every which way you know how to explain something. But some people, you know, if the comprehension isn't there, there isn't much you can do about it. I've got my own problems in the reverse, so someone may have thought their problems were bigger than yours or wanted you to once again, like, share in their problems, or, um, they th it's like, everyone's got problems, okay? Someone could have turned something into, like, a pissing contest, like a sword fight, like, I got bigger problems than you kind of thing. Um, congrats, you're not dead yet. Okay, um, so maybe this person has some health issues, or someone has some health issues, or, um, maybe someone has some karma they've racked up, and... Um, you're just kind of expecting something to happen, especially if you're a card reader or something. Um, you may have been pulling cards about death a lot lately, and so you may be expecting someone to be passing away, and it's kind of just like, you know what, congratulations, you're still alive and breathing, so, um, you know, be thankful for that. Um, this could also be you being thankful for being alive after a situation, um, you know, and you could have even canceled a date or something like that if you suspected you were in some sort of danger or harm's way, but there was a reason for that, and someone thinks you're making a bigger deal out of something, which means that they're, like, it's like they're attempting to gaslight you to make you think or see things a different way or their way, but you see things for what they really are, Some, or, you know, you need to wake up or this person needs to wake up, but I feel like if you're in the upright and you're a divine masculine or feminine, you've ascended to the point where you can see the truth about a situation. 
but you may have felt like you're in a mental fog lately. Some people get in the fogs when um, <clears throat> the retrograde happens. You know, people get more tired. There was some sort of secret that was being kept regarding or about a high priestess or high priest in the reverse. Those could be masculine or feminine. There isn't a masculine card for this, um, you know, in this deck. So it could be man or woman. Don't get caught up on the gender. It's not my fault. The cards have masculine and feminine genders, okay? And I say that in the very beginning of my video, so let it go. So there's some sort of secret that could be being revealed what was done in darkness being brought to light, bringing an ending Scorpio. There was a high priestess in the reverse here that may have been working really hard to cause some problems for someone here. <clears throat> you could be, um, you know, focused on your financial stability, or there's some sort of secret regarding someone's financial stability. It could also be that this high priestess, this um, practitioner, could have been doing some sort of spell work on your finances, trying to cause you problems within your work and your focus on, you know, making money, saving money, building something. So maybe you decided to not worry about, you know, being in a romantic relationship. Maybe you're just focused on your finances. <clears throat> that may be irritating to someone. Because someone was a thief. So we have a jealous feminine energy, queen of cups, emotionally unstable, emotionally manipulative. They use, you know, emotionally manipulative tactics to get what they want. And this person was a thief, so this person could have been trying to steal your work or copy you. <clears throat> Maybe because you've achieved financial stability for, with what you're doing. These came out sideways, so this is now near future energy. There's a happiness. There's happy, stable family. Happy, stable ten of cups here. Death, rebirth, transformation. So there's a lot of conflict going on that you may be dealing with on your own or someone is here. And maybe you need some stability. Maybe it's been a while since you've had some sort of stability. Someone may want to help clean up a betrayal and they're rushing in with some sort of truth here with a knight of swords. So someone may be trying to clean something up. Maybe after you tried to explain something to this person like a million times. Uh, maybe they're finally starting to get the picture like um, you're dealing with a lot of shit on your own Maybe you don't have a lot of people helping you And maybe this person has a happy fa a happy family a stable home environment and maybe you don't so it's like Like I said, it's like a pissing match, but there's no comparison It's like your problems don't even compare you're on two different aspects of the you know the coin here Someone may have some explaining to do. If someone was weak, or they may have viewed you as weak, or you viewed someone else as weak, um, they could have been a coward, falling for the low-hanging fruit, easily tempted, low vibrational. Maybe you make them feel weak when they're near you. Or maybe they, <laughs> this is the kind of thing where, okay, this is somebody who is jealous of you and your work and what you're doing, whatever it is, it doesn't matter what it is. This person may think that they can do what you do better than you. And they, it's funny that um, that card came out, being near you makes me feel less stupid because you could feel that way about this person, but they felt that way about you. Maybe they feel like they're better than you or more intelligent than you. Um, someone got left out in the cold here with the Five of Pentacles, so someone got left out in the cold. And once again, that could be you, it could be somebody else who was left to defend themselves financially, support themselves, become independent. Maybe you were forced to become independent. So there's a High Priestess and a King of Cups in the reverse here, so... <clears throat> There's a high priestess that may have gotten left out in the cold by a king of cups. So there's a masculine energy who may have ghosted them, left them behind, and they may not have liked that. Especially if they were trying to compete with you or if they knew that this person was attracted to you. And they were trying to copy you or your style or whatever it is you do. Um, this person could have left them out in the cold and then they could have... 
held a grudge or a vendetta against you and tried to attack your finances. It could have been doing legit spell work on your finances. Um, the challenge is, is somebody wouldn't stop thinking about something or obsessing about something, and this person wants to come near you, someone wants to come towards you and make you an offer, so maybe this King of Cups couldn't stop thinking about you, whoever you are, and they want to come towards you with an offer. Um, it could also be that this High Priestess in the reverse couldn't stop thinking or obsessing about this person wanting to come towards you, whether they actually did or not, and that could have caused problems. So it's like somebody was starting a fight constantly, they wouldn't let something go. <clears throat> Maybe this King of Cups canceled a date with you, or, you know, meeting up with you, because they were afraid of what this Feminine was going to do. There's death, rebirth here, once again, the transformation here. So there's big changes coming. Something has to end so something new can begin. This masculine energy could have left this high priestess out in the cold so that they could start something new with a divine femme. There could be a divine counterpart. So there could be a transformation coming when, with a secret being revealed or a divine union coming together. This could be a divine partnership that's coming together for you and this person. But someone's being sneaky and stealthy about it after getting a message of concern. So there was some sort of concerning message, and someone's trying to be really stealthy and sneaky in how they do this or how they approach this. And I'm also feeling like if this masculine is being stealthy and sneaky about coming toward you, it may feel like it they may feel like um they need to protect you from something. I'm just getting like this protective energy, like someone could be trying to protect another person from something coming back and sharing in their problems, you know. Um, a problem halved or a problem shared um, that card when that came out maybe someone is trying to protect another person from being sucked into their problems or being hurt or um, something like that because of their problems that they have going on especially if they're dealing with a feminine practitioner that's already jealous trying to copy imitate you know this person may be really quick to jump to some sort of spell work and hexing and cursing <clears throat> or making a phone call, making a rapport, I don't know, this person is very vindictive and spiteful, I'm getting that this feminine energy is very vindictive and spiteful, <clears throat> someone here is spending some time alone in hermit mode, maybe you took some time to be alone and reflect on some things, and it could also be this person spending a lot of time alone trying to reflect after receiving this message, and they're trying to contemplate or think of a way or a plan to come in and speak some sort of truth to you, I heard without hurting your feelings or making you feel a certain kind of way. But there's a decision. Someone's at a decision. A decision crossroads about coming towards you with the Knight of Cups. So they're trying to figure out how to come towards you. They want to tell you some sort of truth, but they also want to tell you something about how they're feeling about you. About how you make them feel. There was a decision that was made in the King of Swords. So this person wants to come toward you and speak a truth and try to use logic when they approach you. This, I feel like this person wants to be honest. There was a decision that was made and someone celebrated too soon. There's a masculine energy, um, the King of Pentacles, and then the Queen of Wands. So there was a decision made by a masculine and feminine energy, and they celebrated something too soon. So this could have been um, part of their group or part of a family or something that was working on trying to keep this union from happening or a partnership from happening or stop someone from coming towards you and expressing how they feel. It could also be an indication that, you know, someone may have been a cheater or play in the field. Um, and there was a loss of wealth or finances because of this. <clears throat> so maybe, um, you know, this could be a separate couple, or it could be the same couple here. There was a celebration, though, regarding someone who could have abused their power. So this could be a, a business owner, like a, a business-owning couple with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. This would be... You know, someone who was in a leadership position, and someone could have been a tyrant kind of energy, a masculine energy. 
And that's been coming out as well. So these could have been like business owners or bosses for a corporation or a business. And there's some sort of barrier here. So this may have to do with someone's work or what you do for work or what this masculine does for work. There could have been competition with this masculine at their work as well. You could be mirroring each other, but not exactly. Like, not exact circumstances. Like, if someone's trying to copy you and steal your work, this masculine could have been suffering the same issues with this couple who was trying to use them or take advantage of them to make more money. And they brought some bad luck upon themselves here. This could have been someone that this masculine looked up to as mentors. They could be older. They, they could be a married couple. Um, they could be related to this masculine or just um, like maybe who he thought was friends. There's some sort of truth that's being enlightened, awakened, made known with the Ace of Swords. So the truth about a barrier that someone is putting in someone else's way... <clears throat> So it could be not only this high priestess that was trying to keep this masculine from coming towards their divine counterpart, but it could have also been a married couple that was trying to stop this from happening too by over overloading someone at work to try to stop someone from having options. So it's like somebody didn't want any this person to have options, and it could be that they didn't want to lose them as like an employee or options in love. Maybe they liked the fact that um, this person was with this um, high priestess in the reverse so it could be this couple here could be friends or family members of that high priestess or this masculine or the mas the emperor energy but this married couple or whoever these people are they didn't want to lose this person as like um, you know it's kind of like they were the cash cow <clears throat> the king of swords page of swords there's going to be a message of truth that's going to be sent or spoken and it's gonna hurt so it's going to be painful for you to hear or it's about what injuries that they've been going through or they've been suffering like their problems you know, like I said, it's not a pissing contest, but, um, you know, someone could have suffered some pretty bad injuries, and this could be either you or this person or both of you simultaneously, just different issues, but someone's had to heal from their injuries, so there may have been a separation, or maybe there was an altercation or a conflict between you and this person coming together, um, because someone was hurt and they needed to heal some sort of heartbreak with somebody, or this high priestess, if this is the masculine, Someone's trying to get themselves free, so someone's being set free from a mental, physical, or emotional prison. <clears throat> and this could even be someone feeling trapped in a work situation. Someone had to take some time to heal from a risky commitment, a risky relationship. Something that may not have been worth the risk or the benefit, you know, like it, it didn't turn out very well. So someone could have gotten hurt in a relationship that they were involved with, and it could be that masculine and the high, high priestess in the reverse. And so someone here is focused about their financial stability, and someone got left out in the cold, and they were just in despair about being left out in the cold. So somebody was definitely not happy about being left out in the Five of Pentacles. Meanwhile, you could be just focused on your financial stability. You're working hard. Something is growing for you. Yeah, someone was in despair about an ending. Someone refused to accept an ending. And this person may want to come towards you and speak some sort of truth that they had to leave this karmic situation or they were dealing with this person. Maybe they felt like they were trying to protect you because someone was not an official person here. So I'm getting, once again, it could be that high priestess energy. Someone wants to be compassionate with you. But they could have lied about a happy family, a happy, stable home. So this person may have um, not been honest with you about a home or with other people. Maybe they portray themselves <clears throat> as having a happy family, a happy marriage. But there's an ending here. There's a permanent ending here. Uh, the Ten of Swords. 
because someone wants to be compassionate to you and this is a victory for you or whoever's in the upright and a positive outcome and someone fighting a lot of battle and conflicts on their own so it's like you were both fighting a lot of conflicts and you both felt like you were doing it alone by yourselves but there is a positive outcome so it's like you're both fighting your own issues separately and this person has a karmic um, feminine energy they need to release before they can come towards you. And it looks like you have your own set of problems and maybe you're just single focused on work. So, you know, you have your own problems, just worried about, you know, business, finances, money. Um, you could be having problems with a married couple. Um, maybe that's who you're having problems with. Um, yeah, but you have money. Someone has money coming towards them. And there's a message of truth. So some sort of truth that's going to be spoken um, could help bring some sort of money or finances in. This could even be you speaking the truth about having money that's coming towards you or somebody knows about some sort of money that's supposed to be coming towards you. So this married couple could have been withholding some sort of money. But they didn't want this person to go anywhere. It's crazy. It's like this this couple is like pro it seems like this couple's like stealing money or skimming money off of a business or something like that. But yet they want to steal someone's ideas or their work. There's a very emotional situation here with the five of cups. <clears throat> so someone was intentionally creating an emotional situation by trying to affect someone else's finances here. And there could be a message that you're going to receive money that is owed to you that you thought was taken or maybe you didn't even know it was missing. Anything else before I move on? Okay. I'm going to jump to my Pink Floyd cards. one that was already flipped over but now I have to find it. I'll come back around. <clears throat> so somebody didn't want things to change or they didn't go through an ascension. Someone chose to stay asleep or not wake up. It's someone who didn't see the higher it's it's like they didn't answer the higher call. And then we have this couple in the reverse. Okay so that's that may be the card that was flipped over. So we have a couple here who didn't want to change, they didn't want to ascend, they didn't want to do anything to heal themselves or a situation. They like being on the darker side of things, and they think it's going to benefit them in some sort of way. So they also didn't want to see the fact that they were messing with someone who could have had divine protection. These people are not grounded, okay? They're not grounded, but they were standing firm, refusing to compromise or give in. There's someone that could be being watched. There's a partnership that's being watched. There's a set of eyes here. So there's a set of eyes here and someone making a deal with a feminine energy and trying to burn them so someone is watching this go down and it could have to do with this business these business owners or whoever these this couple is the shady ass couple someone is watching them trying to burn someone a feminine energy in a business deal really up to some shady practices there was some sort of communication where someone refused to budge so someone has some sort of evidence of communication that was made this could be like in texts or email something like that regarding this business couple whoever these people are um say you had problems with an issue or something and you addressed it and they refused to budge or to give or to see things or you know make things right or work with you they were too focused on trying to burn you and someone's watching this couple 
they didn't think that you saw through the illusions or saw through the veil, but you did. They didn't think that anyone else would see these communications or see through their illusions either. You may have showed this to somebody. Like, if there was some sort of investigation that was going on, you may have showed this communication or sent this to somebody, and so other people may be aware of the shady business dealings that these people are doing. <clears throat> Someone wants to dive into something head first with a divine being. So this would be whoever you are in the upright, a divine being, whether it's masculine or feminine. It could have been a masculine that was um that got ghosted, or they ghosted someone because they were a prostitute, so that Queen of Wands energy. So maybe there was like a, a threesome situation or um a third party situation. Um, someone could have found out that they were being cheated on. So this could have been, you know, that King of Cups. Okay, so th this could be problems within this other couple's marriage. These, these business owners. They could have been trying to run some sort of prostitution shit. I told, it's come out before in one of my readings recently where there was a company that was like a shell company. And there was some shady shit going on behind the scenes. So there's a masculine, maybe the masculine in that marriage got caught diddling one of the prostitutes or something. And so there's some issues within that situation. Um, yeah, there's a whole lot going on here. <clears throat> so whoever this masculine, this king of swords is, they're connected, either them or you, one of you guys are connected to, um, not only a high priestess in the reverse, but someone is connected to this shady-ass couple who's into some really shady business dealings, and they may be, they may be trying to get rid of you with that you're still alive card, maybe they try to get rid of you so that you couldn't expose them for what they're doing, maybe they're afraid of going to jail or something, <clears throat> We have a feminine energy here, and there's a there's someone here that's reflecting on a group of people. So there's a group of people, and there's someone who doesn't want the attention. It could be this married couple, this, you know, shady-ass side dealings that they're doing. But they don't want the attention. They don't want the heat. There could be some sort of social event or socializing. So maybe you had a friend over, or you had some sort of social event that you attended... And you could have been being watched during this. Someone's trying to keep you stuck or someone's stuck from coming towards you. Maybe because you're social, maybe you started hanging out with people or you started dating again or just, you know, hanging out with friends. And so someone's stuck when it comes to putting a family or leaving someone out on the street. So there could be a family here that someone is trying to get thrown out in the street. So this could be... <clears throat> Excuse me, what this feminine energy, what the Divine Femme is going through. So if these are shady-ass real estate, um, you know, rental, landlords, whatever. Um, they're trying to get you thrown out on the street. They want you homeless. <clears throat> There's something that someone's not seeing clearly about someone that sleeps around or all these people that someone is sleeping with or slept with. And they hit a wall. So they want you kicked out because maybe they said you were a prostitute and her husband was into prostitutes and he tried to treat you as if you were a prostitute and it didn't work out so well. Now someone's out of options. So now, now this, this couple has brought all this attention upon themselves for trying to accuse you of running like a prostitution ring or something out of your house. Because this masculine that this person is hooked up with <laughs> likes prostitutes or something like that. Um, it's like someone trying to dip into their own stash, but you're not even part of this, whatever this is. <clears throat> they could have tried to incorporate you into this, this situation, and you could have rejected it and nipped something in the bud, like, right off the bat. <clears throat> and you might not think something is a big deal, but, um, you know too much. I feel like you know too much about what's going on in their business or organization, and they don't like it, especially if you're a card reader or something like that. Or maybe you just called them out on some of their bullshit. And uh, they didn't like that. They didn't like it at all. <clears throat> this is 
crazy. So maybe this couple knows they're connected too. I feel like they're connected to that high priestess in the reverse. That one, the one practitioner, and they didn't want things to change. They didn't go through an ascension. They're not as awake as they think they are. But they're connected to another masculine who wants to come towards you and tell you the truth about something and tell you how they feel about you. So it's like you have this masculine here that's married to someone who wants to treat you like a prostitute. And then you have this other masculine who's trying to get rid of this karmic, crazy-ass feminine energy who's jealous of you. <laughs> Somehow they all are aware of you. I don't know how personally you know these people, but they know enough about you to have been making your life a hell, living hell. Especially if they're trying to get you kicked out. Yeah, they're trying to take credit for someone else's work. Someone's trying to take credit for someone else's work, steal the work. There's secret lovers. There's a secret lover that missed the trap. So someone may have wanted you to be their secret lover. Like I said, someone wanted to treat you like a prostitute, come over, get the good good, and... Um, be on their way and that's not what went down and that was part of the trap this is somebody who was married so this is somebody who was in a marriage contract or yeah so that would be the masculine from that married couple that tried to do this shit <clears throat> they were trying to get you falsely arrested and it could have also been this person's wife if they found out that this masculine was trying to come sleep with you or be with you or maybe she already assumes that you already did. Um, she could have been trying to get you falsely arrested by saying that you were a prostitute. So she could have called, um, you know, her buddies in the law enforcement and, um, you know, yeah, someone got angry. They lost their spiritual gifts. So there's a practitioner here, a high priestess in the reverse who could have lost their spiritual gifts and they're pissed off. Possibly with this married couple, because they could have been doing work for them or working with them. So there's a co-worker here. Someone could have been your coworker, or maybe you worked with this person. So this high practitioner in the reverse, I don't want to say high practitioner, high priestess in the reverse. I don't know why I keep saying that. I guess I'm still waking up. Um, this this feminine energy, um, you could have worked with them at one time. Maybe that's how they know you. There's a lot of people that's pissed off, pissing everyone off as a piece of cake because you decided to focus on yourself, and they lied about you or someone lied about another person here, they lied about you, or they lied about someone, so <clears throat> they're pissed because their story isn't sticking, and you need to speak the truth, or you are speaking the truth, and, <clears throat> excuse me, they're, they're finding out, um, other people fi are finding out that these people were lying the whole time about you, there's something that could have been going on for the last three to six months, or something is going to happen in the next three to six months, Someone needs to be honest with themselves. They're, they're just not seeing clearly. Like, they're so stubborn, they don't want to see the truth. Or they didn't want to see the truth, so they kept doing something repeatedly for the last three to six months. I blocked you, or you blocked me, a lover. Frisky and good cop. So someone, some lover, got blocked. So it could have been this masculine who wants to come towards you and was dealing with this crazy-ass wannabe you. Um, someone could have gotten blocked, but someone is feeling frisky. And there's good cops, good law officials that are involved in this now. Yeah, this, this crazy feminine here. They needed to go heal their childhood wounds. Someone needed to go heal their childhood wounds. And there's a cord cutting that's needed. So this masculine may have to do a cord cutting or something like that. Um, someone said they were single to get you, so someone lied about being single when they hooked up with somebody else. This could have also been, you know, the masculine and the married couple who said, oh, I'm single. Um, and they were switching up vehicles or driving different vehicles to come, you know, drive by your house or come try to see you or, you know, holla at you. Actions speak louder than words.
but this person's really just stalking you. There's someone here who's switching up vehicles, having their buddies bring them by the house, just stalking you to see what you're up to. <clears throat> Or this is that feminine who's doing this to the masculine. That karmic feminine who's doing this to the masculine. Hmm. Somebody thought they were being as cute as a button or, you know, something that someone was doing was not cute, as cute as they thought that it was. <clears throat> someone could have been doing some sort of attraction uh like beauty magic or like illusion magic or something like that so that this masculine would view them as more attractive there's a perfect storm here something isn't cute anymore either the spell work fell off or just whatever this person was up to, the shady shit that this person or this group was doing, this person, married couple, whatever. They think something is all fun and games. And they thought it was funny and cute. And they went, you know, go for broke is in the reverse. So it's like, they put all their time, money, and energy into doing this shit. It's like, they had no shame. And they created a perfect storm. There's a perfect storm coming because some they really think that this is all fun and games and there's going to be no consequences for what they're doing. November could be a significant Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth sign in March. So something significant could have happened in November and March, or those are the months of people's birthdays. Yeah, someone's going to have to eat their words. Because they shouldn't have stepped on someone's toes. So they fucked with someone they shouldn't have fucked with. And I feel like it's a divine femur masculine here. And something could be happening in the next 24 to 48 hours regarding a Friday for some of you. So 24 to 48 hours um, from now or by Friday. There was something that happened in June during the summer. And then February and July. So those could be someone's birthdays or months of significant events. Um, could be months that they did some shady shit to you that they're being called out for or being watched or something is going to be happening by july or by this summer there's something very significant about may so something could have started like in like last year like in a may like may of last year on a tuesday a tuesday in may is significant with the fire sign aries leo sag and the initials q r s or t <clears throat> that could have been when someone decided to partner up with this business couple and didn't know what they were getting themselves into. Someone's going to be getting arrested, though. They could be scared they're going to get arrested. They could know that they're possibly going to get arrested. A Virgo could be significant. They're just playing too much. They played too many games. Whoever this is, they play way too many games. Opposites attract and love is blind. So someone's blinded by love. Someone who may want to come towards you and be your partner, like love partner, who wants to tell their feelings, tell you how they feel about you. Um, they may be your opposite, okay? So you guys may come from very different ends of the spectrum here. something significant about December. Somebody could have tried to do something maybe around Christmas time or maybe they had a plan or they were just doing some shady shit, harassing someone. There's a tower moment that's coming though. Ivory tower and it's only a matter of time. We have a Sagittarius here and a group, a fine kettle of fish, and someone who is older. So we have an older Sagittarius here who should have known better than to do something. <clears throat> they didn't see eye to eye with you, or they didn't see eye to eye with something here. 
Maybe they're not seeing things the same way this group is seeing things because they're determined and ready to work with you. Maybe they weren't in the past. Um, but someone got put back to square one. So it's like someone didn't see eye to eye with you, this person who was older, and maybe you've had to start over. You know, you're fighting a lot of conflict and battles by yourself. Someone has court coming up. This could be the older person or this could be you because of this married couple. Someone's not going to be breathing a sigh of relief, though, when they go to this courthouse because they think something is like stealing candy from a baby. So they think they're going to get away with something, but something is being balanced out with the birds of a feather flock together. Libra energy, something's being balanced out. You could be Libra. Something is being balanced out regarding this entire group. So if they thought they were going to get away with this, they're not going to be happy when they walk out of court. And someone is legitimately getting arrested. All right, person, place, or thing. B could be significant. H. O. S. Someone's name could be Hobbs. Hobson. <clears throat> Someone could have said you were a hobosexual. A. Someone could have also tried to set you up to get SA, especially if they were trying to accuse you of being a prostitute. They have CI, so someone's a criminal informant, or there could be a criminal informant that's significant regarding um, an allegation or possibly an investigation regarding an, S regarding an SA situation. You. O. another C. So I'm getting double letters here. So I have C-C-I-S-A-U-H-O-O-B. I hope this helps. Have a good day.